Hello everyone. Last week we found out how God started with nothing and made light and sky, day and night. Today we are going to discover in Genesis 1, 9-13 how God continued making the world. Listen carefully for the words that God said Things like God commanded or God said. Listen and count how many things God made. How many times did God say he was pleased with what he had made? We're going over to Joe now for our story. Hello everyone, welcome back to another week. We continue our story about creation, again taken from our big Bible storybook. This story is called God Makes Land, Sea and Plants. God's new world was covered with water. God said, I want to make the sea and the land. All at once, the water rushed together. It made seas and rivers and lakes and ponds, oceans and puddles. And that left the dry earth. God made it into rocky mountains, gentle hills, dry deserts and sandy beaches. God looked at the land with its rich, dark soil. He looked at the seas, shining and blue. God was really pleased. He was very happy. Then God spoke again. He commanded, I want to make plants, he said and plants appeared. Tall plants, green plants, plants with seeds to make new plants, flowers and trees and grass, plants on the land and plants in the water. God looked around at what he had made. He had made the land and the sea and filled them with plants. He was very, very pleased and very happy. This is very good, he said. You painted colours in the sky, made the clouds a tower high. We worship, we worship you. You scatter stars with holy hands, dusted rock with golden sands. We worship, we worship you. It's a beautiful world out there. Simply awesome beyond compare. It's a beautiful world out there, and it's made by you We bow down Song for all you made and all 
you've done in this place that brings me some of all you made and all you done in this place that brings me some of all you made all you done in this place that brings me some we bow down Humble by the world you've made King of love, King of grace Our voices in wonder and louder than thunder roar You completely take our breath away Our simple prayer is this each day We'll long for your love or to be like a Well, what an amazing creator. Can you make a picture of God's world? What will you put in your picture? Have you seen the seaside or maybe been to the mountains? Have you been on a boat or seen a camel cross the desert? What trees and plants will you put in your picture? Did you do the experiment putting the plants in the light and dark? How did you get on? The plant I put in the light has grown more than the one that was in the dark. Now here is an absolutely incredible fact. Look at this apple I've cut in half. There are one, two, three, four, five little pips inside. A tiny little apple seed can grow to be a big tree and produce hundreds of apples. So this apple has the potential to produce hundreds more apples. How can all that life burst out of such a tiny dried up seed. You could have a go at cutting a tomato open and taking the seeds out, wash them, dry them and grow them. You'll have tomatoes in the summer. Okay, so today we have a fruit and vegetable quiz. How many of these fruits and vegetables can you name? Ask a grown-up to help you make a list. I'm going to zoom in so you can see all the items a bit more clearly.
Okay, answers to our quiz. Number one, peas. Number two, potato. Number three, parsnip. Number four, sweet potato. Number five, avocado. Number six, orange. Number seven, cucumber. Number eight, spring onions. Number nine, courgette. Number ten, sweet corn. Number eleven, cabbage. Number 12, red and yellow peppers. 13, hack choy. 14, onion. 15, lemon. 16, carrot. 17 apple 18 cherry tomatoes 19 seeds and nuts 20 garlic 21 strawberry 22 broccoli and 23 pineapple Well, how did you get on with the quiz? You could have scored 23 points altogether and that is only a few of all the fruit and vegetables that God has made. Here's a challenge for you to do this week. Make a chart like this one. You can put in the days of the week. Okay, we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Now I've filled this chart in, but you will have to fill this part in yourself. Each day, draw the types of fruit and vegetables you have tried. Different coloured fruits and vegetables keep us healthy. How many different colours can you eat? Here's Joe with a story that Jesus told about growing seeds. Hello, I'm going to tell you another story now called The Story of the Seeds. This is a story Jesus told. Up and down the field went the farmer. He threw seeds to one side and more seeds to the other side. Some seeds fell along the path where the soil was hard. Straight away, the birds came swooping down and gobbled them up. The farmer sowed some more seeds. They fell on the stony ground. Day after day, they started to grow, but it was so hot and dry that the new plants withered and died. The farmer sowed more seeds. They fell among the tall weeds, growing on the edge of the field. Day after day, these seeds would grow but the weeds grew faster than the seeds could grow and the new plants couldn't get enough sunlight or water and they withered and died. The farmer sowed some more seeds. They fell on the good soil where they had plenty of sunshine and plenty of water. 
these seeds grew into good, healthy, strong plants. Just what the farmer wanted. Let's have a look at what we found out. Have you put a title on your booklet? I've chosen God our maker. And then I've got a front page to introduce that God made the world. We learnt that God made night and day. And we did some experiments on plants that need light to live and the lights we have around our home. This week, we're making a picture of how we see God's wonderful world. You're going to put in the sea, the land and the plants. And you're going to make a chart showing the lovely fruits and vegetables that you've tried this week. What an amazing world God has made. Let's just sit quietly and talk to this loving, powerful God. Shall we put our hands together and close our eyes? Lord God, we praise you because by your power, the land, sea and plants were made. Thank you for the amazing variety of vegetables and fruit that we have to eat. Thank you, Lord, for trees that keep the air we breathe clean. Lord, we pray that we will soon be able to enjoy the seaside again. Help us take care of the world that you have made. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, we we'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care. Remember to eat all your fruit and veg. <laughs>